Hello and welcome to Jackson's Job. Today we're going to learn how to make my friend's magical lasagna casserole. Here are the ingredients you'll need if you want to follow along. Please preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and let's get started. In a skillet we're going to turn it to medium heat and we are going to ground one pound of ground sausage, 16 ounces. You can use any kind of ground meat you like, hamburger, chicken, turkey, it doesn't matter. Let it sit for two minutes on one side and then turn it over. And then you're just going to turn it every few minutes until you got it a really nice golden brown like this. Then you're going to turn it off your heat and move on to the next step. Now you can do this in a bowl or a blender. If you use a blender, you'll get a finer texture, which I really like, but a bowl is perfectly fine. You're going to need two jars of your favorite pasta sauce that totals 48 ounces. And you're going to pour them in one at a time if you're using a blender because they don't often fit in the blender together. To that, you're gonna add one cup of ricotta cheese, eight ounces, and then put in that ground meat from earlier. If you want, you can add some spices, one to three teaspoons of red pepper flakes, one to three grams, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning blend, two grams, and one teaspoon of garlic powder, two grams. Now you don't have to put the seasoning in at all, especially if you like the flavor of your pasta sauce. I'm going to blend this together and then I'm going to add in that remaining jar of pasta because again my blender is a little too small. If you're using a bowl you can just do it all at once. What makes this magical is that you use uncooked pasta. You're going to not cook it at all. It's going to be hard as a rock and it's just going to cook for you in the oven. You're going to need three quarters of a box of lasagna noodles, 12 ounces. In a three quart or a nine by 13 pan which is 23 by 33 centimeters, we're gonna put one and a half cups of that sauce on the bottom and spread it out evenly. That's about a quarter of the sauce. Once you have it out evenly, you're gonna space these noodles on top. And I get about four down. And then you're gonna put one on the side. Obviously it doesn't fit, so you're just gonna break it. And any of those bits that fall apart, you're gonna just put them on top like this. Again, this is gonna cook all for you. It's gonna be something special. Put another quarter of that sauce or about a cup and a half on top and then just spread it out evenly. Then we're going to put some cheese on. We have two cups total of cheese, 16 ounces, and you're going to put this on for a total of three layers. So just keep that in mind while you're putting it on. So put about a third of the cheese on and set it aside. Then you're going to top with some more noodles and the one that you went vertically, you want to go horizontally on the next side. Again, I go four down and then one across and you just break off that piece. Take yet another quarter of the sauce and you're going to put it on top and layer it again. Then you're going to put some cheese on top of the sauce and then you're going to put another layer of noodles on for a total of three layers of noodles. The very final layer of noodles, you want to put the remaining of sauce on and you want to spread it out evenly yet again. So you're going to have four layers of sauce and three layers of noodles. Sprinkle that remaining cheese on top. And if you like, you don't have to use just mozzarella cheese. You can mix and match the cheese. I actually like to use mozzarella, Parmesan, and then some Munster on top of all of that. At this point, you could totally just stop putting cheese on, but I really just love cheese, so I'm just gonna put some Munster on top of all that cheese. I know I'm going a little bit overboard with the cheese, but I just really love the stuff. Cover this entirely with some aluminum foil, and if you spray the top of the aluminum foil with some nonstick spray, it won't stick to your cheese. And you wanna bake it 45 minutes, remove the foil, and bake it an additional 15 minutes, or even longer if you wanna brown up that cheese a little bit more, but 15 is what you need. When you insert a knife in the center, it should go in really easily. Then you wanna to try to let this cool for 15 minutes before you serve it, because if not, it's just gonna fall apart on you like it's doing here for me, because that sauce really does need to kind of firm up a little bit more. But if you can't wait, it's okay. You're just gonna have a little bit of a mess and it's gonna be an absolutely delicious mess. This is so cool. It's almost like the traditional lasagna. Obviously it's not, but it's more like a casserole. It still tastes like lasagna. It's absolutely amazing, and you can even make a half portion in an eight inch or 20 centimeter pan. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It truly is magical, and I wanna thank Mary for giving it to me, and there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy baking.